take two. Now we are going to have to find the mass of a liquid. The only problem is I cannot take a liquid and pour it right onto the scale. So we have a little problem here, don't we? What are we going to do to fix this problem? Um, thank God, uh, thankfully, there is a uh, solution. All you need to do is take the graduated cylinder, and it's going to hold the water for us. But we can't put the water in first because then that will give us the mass of the water and the cylinder. So we have to get the mass of this first. And uh, what you're going to end up doing is really subtracting this from your, from your mass each time. You're going to subtract the empty cylinder. So we'll do that in a second. So here we go. We're going to put this on the scale. Uh, we're going to go to about 40. It goes down. So we go back one. Zoom into 40 for me quick. Very good. Now we're becoming an expert. I'll try to get my hand out of the way quick. Now we're at 30. That tells us it's between 30 and 40. Okay? So we didn't do hundreds because I already knew we did this before. And when you go to 100, it goes down. So that's why I went to the tens. Uh, now we're going to do the ones. We're just always make sure, listen, that this is in the groove. All right? It has to be in the groove. You know the song, like, get in the groove? Okay? It has to be in the groove. Okay? And you have to move this until this evens out. And I think it's going to be about 37 and a half. I hope. A little bit more, maybe. Good job, Julie. All right, I said your name. Oh, well. I'm be a star later. All right, so we have 37 point... What do you think? 37.7 about? So this is 37.7. Don't do that. Okay? And now we're going to pour the water in. Last time it went over my leg, so this time hopefully we can do it and not spill it. Because Mr. Mole can't rush. Otherwise bad things happen. Just like getting to school today. Um, here's 40 milliliters. Do he... he we're going to, um, I'll go eye level, and it's exactly 40, so we're good. Now, who can tell me what the mass was of just a cylinder? Anybody remember? 37 point what? Five. It was seven. Remember? Five. Remember 37.7, okay? And now we're going to put this, we're going to put this on the scale. And we're going to go to the zeros, and we'll go to 100 first. It goes down, so that we know it's under 100. I'm going to keep going along here until it goes down. Wow, it's not going down. There it is. And so we're at 70 now. And we're going to move 70 this way. See, I don't, don't ever touch the, uh, the one actual beam. Just touch the little metal, the metal marker. Alright, so you're going to keep moving this until it's even, the zero marker with the pointer. And I went a little too far, so it's about six. Um, so our total is 76. So what you're going to do basically, and we'll look at the board in a second after this, is you're going to take the total, 76 is the water and the container together, right? 40 milliliters plus the container, and then you subtract what? 37 point what again? Seven. Seven. Excellent. So that's how we find it. You're going to make that subtraction problem, and we'll put it up on the chart uh, uh, that's up on the board. So uh, and that's how we do it. Okay? Signing off. <laughs> Got it.